So we're still just kind of like looking at templates and I'm not, I've heard this isn't good practice to do your processing in your template. It's better to do your processing in your go file and then pass in the process data, but maybe sometimes you need to have a function execute in the template for whatever reason. And so, you know, here you could see I have a type person, which is a struct, and then I've attached some methods. So we have some processing, which just returns seven. Here we have doubling the age of person, right? So we double the age of person. And then here we have takes in an arg and multiplies it by two. And so in our template, we have some processing age double and takes arg. arg. And we have some processing there, we're calling that function. Here's age double, we're doubling the age of the person. And then here we're taking that value and we're piping it in, we're passing that value into this function. And, uh, and so then that function will run and you know the value here. If we wanted to, maybe we could also just try this with age. So we could see that there is actually just a value. And now I'm gonna run that and that is in 11.4. So I'm going to CD up some and print working directory. Oh, I've got to kill my server. CD up and print working directory. And I'm in, I need to CD into 01104. Go run main. And, uh, and so here we had, you know, the different functions. There's that first one that just gives us seven, which was some processing. Some processing gave us seven. And age double gave us the age times two. And so that's going to be whatever the age was, 56, I guess. Yeah, 56. And then uh, takes arg. We did uh, first, whoa, that was weird. Uh, takes arg. Uh, the first one we did was just age, passed in age, and then doubled it. So that's 112 again. And here we doubled age, and then we passed that in and multiplied it by two. So that would be 224. So that's uh, kind of using functions, right? Pretty easy. It just needs to be uh, attached as a method to whatever, to the type, the value of the type that you pass in. And then you could call those. So that's, uh, that's functions and templates. Generally speaking, though, do your processing and go unless you hit a situation where you absolutely need to do some sort of processing in the template, then you could do it.